French food is probably the best food I've ever had in my life, ever. I miss it so much. Um, I would love going over to the members' houses to eat dinner because they, they knew how to cook really, really well. Freezer food doesn't really exist. You know, ready-to-eat food doesn't really exist. In France, they take the time to prepare their own food. And it's a lot more healthy than the food that we eat here. Um, the French are very concerned with what they call bio, which is, I guess for us, that would be organic food. And it's become such a big deal now that organic food is actually somewhat cheaper to buy because everybody buys it now. You know, everybody goes for it. Whereas the organic food here, for example, in America, it's really expensive because, you know, who buys organic food? N nobody really buys organic food here. We should, but not a lot of people do. So they they always took the time to prepare their own food, their own dinners, their own everything. And um, so good. You'd start out, typical dinner, you start out with probably a salad or something like that, something light. And then the main course would be, it, it depended really on the family and on, on the background of the family, but some sort of meat, you know, either chicken or, or pork or, or beef with uh, some sort of rice, maybe some potatoes. Yeah, it, it, it depends on such a huge variety of, of food in France and such a huge variety of dishes. That would be followed up by a wonderful dessert of some sort, usually something cold or yogurt or uh, it was all really healthy. I, I've never eaten healthier, I think, than, than when I was in France. Uh, in Switzerland, there's a lot more potatoes, I noticed. We ate a lot more tartiflette is what we called it, tartiflette, which is this potato dish. It's just a bunch of potatoes with some, uh, what we, I guess the equivalent here would be bacon bits, really, lardons, lardons, with tartiflette cheese on top. And just put that in the oven for a good hour and then take it back out and you eat that. It's wonderful. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Other than that, I didn't notice a whole lot of differences really between the French food and the Swiss food. Um, the cheeses were different. There's different cheeses in Switzerland than in France. You get a lot more tom, a lot more mountain cheeses in Switzerland than in France. Um, then there's the famous Swiss cheese, which tastes nothing like the Swiss cheese we find in America. It's actually entirely different. It's entirely different. The texture is entirely different. When you think Swiss cheese, you think that holy cheese and it's kind of more, more solid, you know, but it's, it's not that way and it doesn't even taste uh, anything alike, really. You, you have to go to Swiss, Swiss, Switzerland to, and taste the Swiss cheese, the real Swiss cheese. It's fantastic. Confit de canal is my favorite. It's slow-cooked duck um, with potatoes, and it's the best thing ever, especially in a sandwich. Uh, in France, oh yeah, I can't forget this, uh, a lot of kebabs. There'd be a lot of kebaberies, is what they were called. And what that is, is... Uh, it was, it's kind of our equivalent of fast food, really. When, when us missionaries wanted something ch cheap and quick and easy to eat, we'd go to a kebab ring and get us a five-year-old kebab. And with that, you get fries and a little 32 centiliter drink. I think it's lamb. That's, that's what I've been told, is it's lamb. And it's put in a bun, sort of. It's put in the bun. You get vegetables and some salad, some tomatoes. And then my favorite sauce to put in was Algerian sauce. That was the best sauce in my opinion. That's the more Middle Eastern influence in France that the kebabs came from that and I'm glad they did because I like kebabs. So in Switzerland you didn't really get as many kebabberies. There's not as much um, Middle Eastern influence in Switzerland at all. So but there's a wonderful variety, more so more of a variety in France really than in Switzerland. In Switzerland you get a lot of the traditional uh, dishes and, and, and cooking. I didn't have the opportunity really to eat too many traditional Swiss dishes, so I couldn't I couldn't yeah. really say anything on that. In France, my favorite drink was Orangina. It's you find it here in America, but it's not the same. It's an orange drink, fizzy, um, and it's got pulp in it, and it's it's wonderful. It's just a really good lemon orange kind of drink. Um, in Switzerland, there was this drink. It was. I can't remember what it was called anymore, but it was a grapefruit flavored drink, and that was my favorite drink in Switzerland. Um, definitely a lot of wine, which we never got to drink. <laughs> um, and the grape juice in France is the best grape juice that I've ever tasted, ever. 
here we have Welch's, but it's, uh, in my opinion, it's got kind of a chemical taste to it. But in France, it's it's wonderful, sublime, my favorite drink. You eat that, you eat cheese, and then take a swig of grape juice after that. And it, I can see why the French people like wine, you know, we'll put it that way, because it really brings out the flavor of the cheese.